I can't follow you forever like this. Let's go. Seventy-six years of my life, thirty-six years in the army, twelve years as the president of Parsnath Society Golf Course Road, Gurugram, Haryana. I have never been ridiculed like this. And I waited fifty-six years for your life for you to die. Come back. To me. Why do you have to be so angry about something that happened so long ago? Let bygones be bygones. Tell me, how have you been all these years? How have I been all these years? I have been wandering around this godforsaken place with nothing to do. There are no seasons except for spring. I don't age. My hair doesn't grow. I don't sweat. My nails don't grow. It's just. Every everyone here is so fucking nice and I just have to be nice to them all the fucking time even when I don't feel like being nice to them You don't feel like being nice to them Here I can get anything that I wish for anything even an unlimited supply of joy chicken nugget pizza and coke but I can't You know why because because I'm never craving for anything Just just look at this place it's not real everything just everything just changes on its own it's like you just wish for it and it's there like i don't feel hungry i don't feel any sort of physical pain like fuck pain i don't even get my period isn't it better i could have anything that i wanted here except for the one thing that i wanted the most and then i see you a dumb and cracky ass old man who wants to know how i have been all these years now is when you stop i'm an old man i lived my life i had to live it it's not my fault that i didn't die with you in that car crash that night you were a part of my life which ended a long time ago I had almost forgotten about you until I died and reached here. And then I see you. 
like a dream. This is more of a nightmare, I tell you. I had a family back there which I already miss. My children, my grandchildren, my beautiful wife. I was happy that I was the first one to die. I didn't have to see others die where I lived. I know, I was selfish, but I, I had lost the courage to lose anyone after you. You have no idea how it feels to lose the love of your life and live through it. Oh damn, I don't. Tell me about it. I'm all yours. You won't understand. You're right, Dilip. She won't understand. Hi. You all call me God. <clears throat> I'm going to Dilip Singh Kadyan. Uh, Dilip. Let's just stick to that. I know her. She's Meryl Brad. She's been here for the past 56 years. Yeah. Uh, also, sorry for this sudden change in setting. I had to do it, you know, in order to appear all godly so that a bunch of you newbies believe me. Mm -hmm. ah, I know, bad idea. <laughs> So, this place is certainly not turning out the way you had imagined it to be, right? Yeah, they oversell this place quite a lot back there. You can talk to me, okay? I won't kill you. I hadn't killed you in the first place either. Besides, dead can't die. He can read my mind. C can you make him love me again? Uh, no, I can't. Then make, make me hate him. I can't do that either. Then can you at least make me forget him? I, I just wish I'd not known this man. Uh, I'm afraid I can't. What kind of a god are you? You can't do anything for shit. I'm not god. You all call me god. So, this is not heaven. We call it heaven. What is heaven, if I may ask? Heaven is the place where I get to be with the love of my life forever. And he loves me back as I do. I don't know what heaven is like. But I know how it feels to be with your loved ones. It's a beautiful feeling. Happiness is what you seek. But happiness comes from where there's sorrow in the first place. Say, in order to enjoy your favorite Joey's Chicken Nugget Pizza with Coke, you need to feel hungry. Or let's say, you need to know what pain is in order to know what relief is like. And if I go by the description of heaven you've given me, this is not heaven at all. I feel you've already lived it. I'll take you leave. I 
miss my home. Can I go back? Obviously, you can't. You're dead. What? I'm omnipresent. You should know. Never mind.